This area looks nice. Alright then, let's have a go, shall we? Just look at that behind me, that's where we come out. How nice is that? How's it going everyone? I'm Carl if you don't know me and to the regular subscribers how you doing? Hope you had a good week. So we finally got some summer. <laughs> it's actually hot. We got 28 degrees on the gauge so pretty warm and it has actually been hotter yesterday when I was working I had to go up to London and it was actually 32 all day. Flicked on to 33 a couple of times that was hot <laughs> I was absolutely cooking but today we're heading down the North Norfolk coast and hopefully I'm gonna put some lures out and see if we can pull a bass out something I still haven't done yet which is quite annoying I've only been out two or three times so can't really complain I've hooked up a couple of times but never actually landed one so time to go and have another go so I'm gonna head down towards wax them that sort of way and yeah I fancy having a little go on that beach I've never fished down there before and I don't really see many people doing it I've seen the odd people down there you know getting the odd thing but not a silly amount of stuff but if you don't try you don't know so I'm gonna give it a go and fingers crossed we'll pick up something quite nice to be fair I'll be quite happy with something tiny just to get some of our lure but obviously I'd much ha be much happier with like a three, four, five pound fish. So let's go and have a go. Spin you around, let you have a little look at the surroundings. We're nearly there already. We started traveling a little while ago. And let's get out of the car. We've got to walk up the hill, over the sand dunes and down onto the beach. I think I'm gonna put my waders on even though it's boiling and wander out into the water so I can get into a bit deeper water. I've only got a small rod with me today. Bought me a little seven footer. I love using that rod. It's actually the rod I use when I go piking on the broads and stuff. But that's ideal for what I want to do. And that flicks out a lure quite nicely to the distance I want to do. That would be absolutely perfect. You can use light lures on it and you can use pretty hefty ones on it as well. So let's go give it a go. Hopefully we'll get some fish. Yeah, let's go. So we're cruising through the lanes. Ain't got far to go at all now. Just up the road. Sun seemed to have dipped down a bit now. It's been red hot all day. So I thought I'll come out for the last sort of three, four hours of the evening. You know, till sunset sort of thing. I always think that's a pretty good time to go bass fishing. Or you get the same early morning. Plenty of people about on the roads and stuff. Hopefully, uh, should be able to park where I'm going. I'll show you where I'm going to park, and it's all free. So, if you fancy trying the area yourself, definitely worth a go. Absolutely cooking in here. I've got all the windows down, but the breeze coming through, and I'm still boiling. I'm only in shorts. So we're in Sea Poland now. Another nice place to have a little wander along the beaches and put a lure out, but I won't do that today, but I will do that at some point over the summer this year. That's another place that is a good place to put the sieve out as well. So hopefully I'll do that at some point as well. I know I keep saying it, but just trying to get all the gear together, it's not cheap. And obviously engines and safety equipment all that sort of stuff and wheels and stuff just so the sip and stuff like that so I can launch it, got to get it off the ground to get the engine on the back and do what I'll be dragging up and down and stuff like that. All costs but I'm saving up each time and 
every little super chat and stuff like that, I get to you know, go to water and go towards the trips. So it will happen at some point. This is a nice little area. Like I said, I was gonna, I was just gonna wander along the beach and sort of cast around, but I've got my waders in there just in case. And tide's coming up, so it'll make sense for me to put the old waders on. I'll be able to walk out sort of past me waist and still be able to fish comfortably. Plus, the water will actually cool me down a bit as well. So just to the left on here, oh, we've got a couple of people walking down the road, not a problem. Wow, <laughs> that's very, very busy. Certainly weren't expecting that. Um, I honestly thought that was going to be a lot less busy to be honest. You can park anywhere around here basically but I'm going to pull up under here and that will do us. So we're at the spot, most people are coming off the beach now, there's quite a few people coming down the hill. It's quite a walk up there and it's really soft sand, that's hard work. But there's a fair few people coming down. So I'll get my gear, we'll sort out a spot up at the top there. I'll show you a little bit of the hill and you know, through the walkway on the way up. And let's get a rod set up and get in the water. Okay, so got my gear on, let's get down the beach. Plenty of puddles along there at the moment. You basically just walk up to the top of here and I'll show you what's at the top when we get up the top. There's lots of people walking about, don't know if they want to be filmed. So we're coming up to the top of the hill. Ooh. Bit out of breath, it's really deep sand. As you can see, sand like there's plenty of people about. So down the pathway. Just literally come along this little ramp. Lots of people about, plenty of people swimming. People having fun. Just gotta find ourselves a gap now. We're just going to the middle of this bay, I think. Or should we go along the rocks? Decisions, decisions. We'll go over here for starters. When these people are not in the water, then we'll we'll go over there and have a go on them rocks and stuff. This is the area. <laughs> yeah, <having> fun. <laughs> oh, perfect evening to go in the water. There's a ship a bit further out there, which we'll have a look at in a minute. We'll just get down the beach a bit further. Away from the party, uh, having fun. Looks like a stag deal or something like that. Maybe. I think we'll try just on the edge here. So just bear with me, I'll get a lure and stuff on. So today I've got me Savage Gear set up. Little Savage Gear reel. SG8, and then I've got the SG4 rod which is the power gear and that's a 50 to 110 gram nice little setup we've got 18 pound line straight through down to a swivel a bit of tubing on the end and then we've got a bit of braid about a meter long, well, half a meter long and then a little clip swivel ready to change from 
whatever we decide to put on. So I'll find something to put on and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we're going for one of these first, which is this one here. Let's get it connected up and see what we can do. Ooh. Certainly pretty warm down here. Literally a case of just undoing the clip, sliding it through, he says. Come on. Doesn't want to go over the top of it for some reason. Here we go. Put the clip back over. Leaves us with a bait like that. Heavy metal head, silver body, white top, a little bit of red on the tail. Should paddle along like so. Should be pretty good. Obviously it'll be that way up in the water. And let's see if it does us any good. Okay, so it's looking quite nice. Got some waves rolling in. Let's see what we can get. We'll just go sort of 30, 40 yards, something like that to start with. Just on the edge of these rollers. Fingers crossed. We'll hook up into something. Nice light setup, which is why I brought this up. Cast very well. If we're going to get any hits, it's probably going to be down on the side of the waves there. Quite close in. Try different speeds of retrieve and stuff. Until we work out what's what. Looking good. Go a bit further. Absolutely flies out. We'll come in a bit faster this time. Do some fast spins. Some much slower ones. Rod lower. Rod higher. Just vary everything really. Speed. Twitch your rod. Just try all sorts of stuff. I normally find when I'm doing lure fishing and other things, just a steady retrieve is, is the one normally. Oh, it's probably a bit of weed. It felt like something there. Yeah, a tiny bit of weed. Shows the rod's nice and sensitive and tells me what's out there, which is good. Lots of people all around me swimming. Forty yards on this cast. I know there's people are out and about and swimming and stuff, but it doesn't normally stop the bites if there's actually stuff there. Oh, no. Felt like I had a little taken. I think there's little bits of weed on the edges. Yeah, I'm just picking up just tiny bits of weed. Right, so it's good that you can feel her there. You know what you're... 50, what, 50, 60 yards is halfway empty in the spool. That's just a little tap. Just to hear the waves, I might actually go in if I need to. Nice breeze down here, it's actually a lot cooler than it was at work and at home. It's a little bit coloured on the edges, but as you go out slightly further, you can see it's clearer. further and further each time 70 yards maybe that time oh, there's a few birds coming across me if I see any birds working anywhere I'll be straight on them areas there's obviously a few mackerel and stuff about at the moment Just 
feel the lure touching the bottom every now and again. Just trying to keep it just above the bottom. And we're just getting them two tiny bits of weed that nothing to worry about. Whew. Okay, let's have another go then. Definitely a lovely evening for it. There must be I don't know, 50, 60 people on the beach, quite a few people. Let's just walk into the edges. See how clear it is a bit further out. Got a bit of depth straight away, straight to my knees. We've been a few steps in, which is quite nice. Be pretty cool to land a fish around everybody. <laughs> They'll probably be shocked that they want swimming around. Water feels nice through the waders. A few bigger rollers coming in, but nothing to worry about. It's quite nice. It's about seven o'clock in the evening at the moment. about an hour to a high tide. It's an ideal time to be out there. I'll obviously switch up and go through different lures and stuff if nothing happens sort of in 15 20 minutes or so of using this one. I'll just keep bringing you backwards and forwards letting you see what I'm up to. White, is, white can normally be a good colour. Swimming through the water quite nicely. You have to do a fairly fast retrieve on these to get the tail to paddle. It's a fairly heavy lure on the head. Yeah, the jig head. There's people literally all around me. <laughs> Just keeping an eye on my, on my gear and that as well, but I don't think no one's going to touch it. Really cast well, I can cast them for sure, but not too much because there's obviously people about. I don't want to put my back to you either while filming. I want to do some sort of fan pattern, just work my way around different areas. One spot on the beach, you should probably give it 15, 20 minutes and then move along. If you're going to find fish that are feeding, you'll normally find them fairly quickly. Sometimes you can literally walk along the shores for hours and then all of a sudden, bang, you'll You'll hit some fish and you'll start getting the takes. Ooh, Ooh that felt like a take. <laughs> start getting takes all of a sudden and you stay on the fish. Got a feeling that was a take. There's a tiny bit of weed on there, but that weren't weed, it just took, hit that. I'm pretty sure of that. Just get the body on there a bit better. Let's go fairly close again. Where we felt like we had a take there. I'm 
just literally coming along the shoreline, like 20 yards out. I'm sure something, and again, I'm sure something's taken this. They feel like bites. They're like, bang, bang. They feel like takes. Whether the lure's too big for what it is, or you don't normally get that feeling for no reason. Come on. Let's come through a bit quicker. There's loads and loads more people turning up. There's definitely something there hitting that. Definitely. Because there's no weed coming up. What is that? There's no marks on the lure, but definitely feels like a take. I'm not coming for a weed bed or nothing like that, or rocks, because that would do it every cast. Go this way as well. This water is lovely and cool. Literally just a little flick and that's easy 50, 60 yards every time, it's lovely. That's why I thought I'd bring this out back because I thought that'd see what I'm doing. That ship that was out there is disappearing in the distance now, right out on the horizon. top eye I think. It's gone a bit tight. It's off. Do we switch it up and try something else or? Got all sorts of things with me so I could try all sorts of things. Even got some Maggie feathers as well if I see anything jumping but. Okay so I've switched over to some little feathers. Give them a go. We've got four on the trace and then better foot, and then we've got a carp bomb on the bottom. Let's give that a whip around and just see if there's any Mackie or anything like that out there. We'll just see if a bass will take them. You, know, you never know, you've got to try different stuff. So let's give these a go. Fairly heavy weight on there. It's quite a long drop on it because I've still got the trace on there, and that's got its own trace. We can still get well out there.
quite heavy with that weight on to be honest. I might have to change it to a, a bit smaller one. Oh, big old seal just come up in front of me. You probably just saw on the video. We don't want him taking these, do we? Definitely don't want him taking these. That means there's some fish out there, though, which is good. It's a heavy old drag with that big old weight on there. I'll just come out of the way for a minute. Don't want to be hooking up to that big old seal. That's a bit of a beast. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna switch over to this one. Put this on next. I like the sort of pale whites and the whites, they seem to be the ones that catch around here. And let's get this on. Quick sharp, just caught my hand with it. Lovely. Now just paddle through the water like so. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wander then this way towards the rocks. And we're gonna have a fish along the side of the rocks. Still loads and loads of people there as you can see. Nice little walk in the water. <laughs> Sounds a bit sinky. There you go, just speak to chat about a couple of couples come down for a bit of fun in the evening, pull down a bit. Just ask me what I'm catching. And what I'm fishing for and that sort of thing. So we're going to have a go down the side of these rocks. Looks good to me. Let's see what we can do, shall we? I'm going to have to set you up up here a bit because I don't want to lose my gear in the sea. So you saw what jig we're putting out. So let's have a go down the side of these rocks. Try not to, try not to lose it. It's quite deep straight in front of me, so I've got to be careful. Lovely, right down the side. Obviously I'll go out where I can, but it shelves off very quickly here. Because people all the way along the beach, jam-packed. This spot looks really, really good for a bite. Give us some weed. We don't really want that. Come on, fishies. Spot looks brilliant. But just hitting out just to the end of them rocks and then getting up in the water just off the bottom. We're really in. I'm going to keep it fairly low this time. So we don't really want this weed. Cheers, <laughs> wave just soaked me. Didn't go over the top of me with waders, but got me wet. Come on, Mr. Bass. Oh, no. That's... Oh, I had a fish in. I think that's weed. Yeah. Getting splashed right there, though. <laughs> really could do about the weed. We've got to try it. We weren't getting any further down that way, or well, not as much. So let's spin round and cast that way slightly. You've got to try there, just because the rocks are there doesn't mean the fish are always going to be there. They might be 
out to my right, to my left, they could be parallel along the beach. You just have to hunt for them. Search. Search, search and search. I'll keep looking back because obviously I'm just keeping an army gear because there's there is literally hundreds of people on the beach now. There's some of these big old waves coming in. <laughs> they come up my chest. I like standing in the wall because it's nice and cool, but. Come on, fishies. So we didn't get any weed that time, just, just going near them rocks made it a little bit weedier. So now we're well out there level with that red post. It's coming just a little bit faster, make that tail work a bit harder. Lots and lots of black stuff in the water, I'm not sure what they are. I think they're bugs actually, looking at them. Oh. That's weird. But we picked up something there. Pretty sure we got some weed on. These waves are trying to get me here. They're quite deep, really. It's strange how one cast I'm picking up weed and the next cast I ain't getting any. Alright, let's go along the shoreline. literally 15 20 yards out and just come in along the waves quite often the bass will be sitting in them waves really close in when i'm fishing from the beach using like ragworm and stuff like that i quite often catch my biggest fish just down in front of me i mean like five six seven pound bass you can get them literally right in front of you quite often people cast over them Oh, this weed's going to be a pain, brother, isn't it? We'll keep moving when people move. We'll keep trying different spots. Not trying to disturb anyone's day or anything. Everyone gets to use the beach. Fast, shall we? Definitely getting deeper by the minute. There's a big shelf right behind me. That's why I'm getting splashed, I think. That's hitting that and rebounding back on me. Right, so we didn't get no, well, tiniest bit of weed that time. I mean, tiny kept the lure up in the water. Which I'm going to do for a few casts now. Whee! <laughs> Try and knock me over them. Big swells are quite bad to be honest. Quite hefty. They're probably coming in from that ship that went past. There's lots of nice areas. Down to my right there's some nice areas. Over to my left, there's some nice areas. Oh, it's weird again. Keep feeling like I'm getting good hits, and this ending up being weird to come up over there. Really getting hammered by these waves now. Cheers, waves. Need to stand in them a bit more. So they don't break right on me. So sensitive. <laughs> Tiniest bit of weed hit it or something like that, that feels like a bite. It's 
definitely some weed out there. It's going slightly nearer the rocks, shall we? Pull it in down the side there. Definitely being a pain. And what we'll do is we'll go through these rocks and out the other side and see if there's any better over that side. It's a nice area to fish, but don't want the weeds stopping us from having a chance to hook up a fish. very bassy, it looks awesome, but... I just hooked a bit of weed, yeah. Oh, the weed's going to be our enemy today, but looks of it. Which is not really what we want. We could probably walk out quite a bit further here, but... I'll see my gears right down there on the beach. And I'm on my own today as well. As I get close in, that seemed to... pull me through the weed. So I'll try and go a bit further. Surprising if I even go. Still only just above my knees. Obviously, be sensible if you're gonna do this sort of thing. 
I do this quite a lot. I'm always walking through water and through flooding and all sorts of stuff. You still have to be sensible on your feet. I can actually see the bottom quite easily here. It's lovely and clear. The swells are not as bad as they are the other side, so it's, they're coming in a bit flatter. They're just rolling past me nicely. Just going over my waist, like this one here. This gives us a good old chance to explore around these rocks and stuff. Oh. <laughs> keep getting me excited, I keep getting little pulls. I think that's just weed at the moment. Yeah. But one of them times that might not be weed and we might be fish on, so that's what we keep trying. Yeah, we're well out there, we must be... Hey, <laughs> That one got me. Must be 80, 90 yards off the beach. They're getting a bit higher now. Obviously I don't want water going over me waders. These all start filling up. This one I've got on at the moment is obviously imitating little fish baits. You know, bait fish type things. Well, it looks absolutely awesome going through the water. Getting splashed a bit up your arms and stuff, but I don't mind about that. As long as I don't fill up with water. That's fine with me. I don't, don't want weed on there when I cast away. You can get well out there. Still lots and lots of people about. It's a lot cooler on the coast here than it is at home at the moment. I think it's going to stay in the low 20s tonight, even overnight, which is going to be quite hot on the coast because I'm in the water as well it's, it's quite nice it's still hot though to be honest even though I'm standing in the water it certainly ain't cold but it's a lot cooler than what it would be do we actually manage a cast with no weed then? Uh, tiny bit tiny bit Whoa. <laughs> that one hit me I could go over there and hide behind the rocks, but I don't obviously want to rail in too close to the rocks. Alright, let's start fanning out a little bit, shall we? Let's see what's a bit further across. Then in the distance that I'm looking where I'm looking straight ahead is Uh, sea pooling, sorry, <laughs> took my attention off there. There's a big old seal just come up just there. And that is a big one as well. I don't know if it's the same one that was this side or another one. We certainly don't want to hook into one of them. Loads of weed that time. I won't concentrate on probably because of that seal. There you go, Mr. Seal. A little little seal, and it was big and grey. A bit hard to show much more on, the, on these sort of videos, you know, just putting the laws in. Yeah, it's definitely a big seal. It's much closer in now. It's got his head right out of the water. <laughs> Scaring the people near the beach. It's coming inwards. If I come back this way or closer, I'll zoom in on it for you. Obviously, my priority is to try and get you a fish. Give it a few little flicks and stuff, shall we? <laughs> They're all come rushing out the water now. Can't seem to get a, a cast at all without getting any weed. Which 
it's not really helping me. I'm going to try a really fast retrieve. Sort of diagonally that way. I'm doing about 50, 60 yards cast at the moment. Right, get up off the bottom and let's bring it in pretty quick. See if we can miss looking up that weed. Some really dark cloud and stuff going across. See that was just sunny when I got here, that was roasting. It's been a while now, obviously I've had plenty of casts and stuff while well, not on camera as well. Oh, no. Weed again, I reckon. I was out there on the sea, but I reckon I'd get away from this weed. That weed seemed to be closer in. It doesn't seem to be out there. But obviously you've got to come through it to, to reel back in. Which is a shame. Let's have a go. Really close in along the beach. Literally 10 yards out. But you never know. It does happen. Bump in the bottom, that's the only trouble. Still picked up a little bit of weed, which is the pain. What's happened there? We've got a tangle. Okay, don't know how that's happened. It's gone over the top of itself for some reason. We'll come a bit closer in before we sort that out. happened. Strange how the line goes sometimes. You wonder how to get into them sort of tangles and areas. But I'm pretty good at getting them out. Right, let's move a bit further down the beach. Definitely got a few seals working pretty close in along here. People all going down to the beach, watching them swim along. I don't know if you can see that one out there. He'll just keep popping his head up and down again. Not much traffic out there. A couple of ships right on the horizon. And the sun's starting to go down behind us now. So we're going to walk down this way a bit. Find ourselves another spot. We've obviously got a gully close in, as you can see. It's got a, quite a decent depth to it, actually. On the high tide, when it's up there, could be worth fishing on a high tide. The further we go down, the shallower it gets, by the looks of it. There. And then that meets that point down the bottom there, and then that's sort of the end of that gully, I think. Well, we could. Cross this bit here and let's have a look, shall we? I just need to put my backpack on properly. I ain't gonna be able to put it on the floor because it's gonna get wet. I only travel really light when I'm doing this sort of thing. Alright, let's walk across the gully. Up onto the sandbank. Or a very soft sandbank. Tide's coming in, so I've got to be careful. This is just going to keep filling up. Obviously, I'll be able to walk across it. I've just got to look after my gear. <laughs> so, it's going to be a lovely sunset by the looks of things. Let's have a little go here, shall we?
feels like it's coming in clear. Could be a good thing. Oh, I don't know actually. Just on the edge of it now, I think we just hit a sandbank, so... Very, very tiny piece on there. Could be a good spot. Let's get it out there, shall we? We're literally just on the edges, it's not out in the middle or far out, it's just on these edges of waves. Let's only go along the, along the shoreline. Is coming along the shoreline. It's almost going to guarantee weed. Yeah, and there's the weed. Lots of people watching me. If I'm catching from all different angles. <laughs> I say when we're right out there, 70, 80, you know, 90 yards, something like that, as clear as anything by the feel of it. So I need to hook up out there, really, if I'm gonna keep the lure nice and clear of the weed. literally the last 15 yards something like that is where the weed is so that's sort of a good thing didn't even pick up any that time which was nice Or a tree seems to be sort of keeping out of the weed, really. That's what we'll do. So, if there's a Mr. Bass there or somewhere, or something that's interested in taking a look. It's definitely the way to stop yourself from getting weed, so we'll go that way. So we'll fan out there, 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 and we go all the way around. And then obviously if you start getting bites somewhere, you keep casting to that area. Looking like a lovely evening out there. The old sun starting to set. Just the sort of thing you want to do. As you can see I'm gradually going round and round and round. I know I keep saying it, but that's what you need to do. I see a lot of people just casting out straight in the same position all the time. Which is not maximising the water you got in front of you. We'll do that wherever I'm fishing, wherever I'm lure fishing, you've got to search the whole water. We just hooked up with a bit of weed there. Looks so like we're keeping out the weed. I've got salt all over me where the sea's been splashing me.
definitely working. That's pulling the, the lure to the top of the water and we're not getting no weed now. So let's keep moving. Keep searching more water. That's what it's all about. Just got to keep searching that water. Sometimes you'll just get to a spot and on that very first cast, bang, and you'll be into a fish. Just don't know where that spot's going to be. move every about 50 yards at a time you'd be surprised you could be just off the fish quite often right fast retrieve keep it above the weed rod slightly high but not too high If the weed weren't in there, I'd have a rod down here. I'd have to come through the waves, but because the weed's there, I need it up there, just a little bit higher. Otherwise, that'll make it unfishable, which isn't no good. Obviously, with the backpack on my back, I can go up to the beach up the top there, put it down, change lure whenever I want to. So, we found a load of weed again this time. So a couple of casts straight. Let's keep the rod in the air for a minute until we're like that, Good smell barbecues. People have got burgers, hot dogs and all sorts of chicken by the looks of <laughs> Loads of people loving it. Like quite a few people coming up to me and asking me what I'm up to. I've oh, okay. done a bit too many straight now. I think I need to get some different angles on this area. Wondering why I'm not going in, there's a lot of deeper down in front of me here. I'm trying to do the angles, but obviously, I don't want to put my back to you too often, as much as I can. Conditions are perfect, these little rolling waves or swells. There should be some bass in them, these. Anyone else try these arrowwood lures? It's a very hard area along North Norfolk to, to get bites on the lures, but if you don't try, you don't get them. Right down the tide at that time. Waves are getting rougher. Yeah, I'd say it is hard to, to catch where we are or where I am now. There's much easier areas to go to, the, like the rivers. Got a good chance of getting a, you know, getting a nibble, getting a few schoolies if you don't get some big ones. But never had one out of the sea yet like this, so I've got to keep trying. <laughs> yep, picked up some weed. The sun's popped out again from behind the clouds. Nice big long cast, still only half a spool though. 
plenty more left in it. People are now getting back in the water. There was a sail along here a little while ago. I think that scared everyone. As you can see by them people there, a few steps in and they're past their waist. a couple of casts down back towards the way I've been walking. Come along the shoreline. I'm have to do it fast or I'm going to pick up weeds right away. Fast retrieve definitely works. You'd like to see me hit some more areas like this with the old lures. See what I'll pick up. Just let me know. And I'll add some more in. Normally I'm quite careful about where I fish. I don't like to put a blank video up unless I have to. Lucky enough for me, I do my research and stuff. And normally got the right baits and stuff, and it doesn't happen to me too often. Probably only two or three times a year. I think if I went out on the lures, that'd happen a lot more then. <laughs> I think maybe after after having to go on the beach like this, I'll have to have a go in the rivers and just show you what what the difference is. Give that area a good enough go. Whew. Definitely nice down behind me now, but we're going to head back this way. I've only come out for a few hours, not I've done a whole day or anything. The sun would absolutely cook me today. Come out for the evening. I'm going to go back down to all these rocks. You see people over there with the old barbecues going. There's another set of people there with the old barbecues and that going. And there's people behind with their dogs playing in the water. top of the sandbank now and starting to fill up this gully. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up to this groin and I'm going to fish it from this side. I'm quite a bit further out compared to around the other side there if you look. The tide comes in quite a lot more on the other side there. I'm going to have a go from this side. I'll put you up on the beach up there and I think I'll stand on that rock and have a little go. sand down the sea is going to be hitting it without any trouble but gorgeous sand is soft put you down here for a minute we'll just have a couple of casts off that rock there well, i'm gonna to have to put my back to you a little bit so i apologize for that in advance but if we get a fish you'll be happy <laughs> Oh, 
a bad little spot as long as I don't pull myself straight into the rocks. You can see everything I'm doing is a different thing. I think what I'll do is I'll come back up over the top of all this one. Otherwise I'm going to lose my gear straight away. And all rocks and wood just straight down there. We'll, we'll hit it that way on the beach. Yeah. Mainly clear along there. Waves are whacking the old groin and splashing up. <laughs> Part of the fun. Whee! Splashing me there. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Yards out. Should be a good area. Waiting to start to level off now. We're approaching towards high tide, I think. Put your back towards something like this, just make sure you're not going to get swept off a rock. You can easily bang your head or something like that. That's not looking too crazy. Not looking like it's going to happen today. I don't know if you don't try. Just look at that behind me, that's why we come out. How nice is that? for a few hours now so I'm gonna have a wee <laughs> sinking in the old sand there. Went right down then. Yeah I'm gonna have just a few more casts and then I'm gonna call it for this evening. Can't catch every time and lure fishing is a lot harder than putting a bait out. <laughs> well it is in this area I should say there is places you can go which is a lot better. The challenge is to catch in places where most people don't. As you can see by the area, the fish should be here. They look like brilliant holding spots. Weed, I think. Tiny, tiny bit on the head of the lure. It's getting a bit scratched, which means us getting dragged along the stone a bit. Sun's giving us some nice yellow skies, orangey, purpley skies. As it now comes down into sunset. Starting to pick up a bit of weed again now. Let's go close to these rocks. That's very close. <laughs> Didn't quite being that close, but 
Oh, I thought that was weird. That could have been a take end. I don't know if you saw the tip of the rod go around. I thought I'd pulled in some weed, but it's quite a decent fun. Strange. One minute I get a load of weed, next minute there's nothing there. It's quite strange. Alright, let's go really low down and through the waves but faster retrieve. As soon as we go that little bit lower down, we end up getting the weed. Right. Last cast, I think. Got a bit of wind slightly picking up now, but it's quite nice to be honest. Actually, I'll have one more cast or cast that way and have one more go. You know what it's like when you say one more cast. Oh, really? That weren't we. Better cast there again. <laughs> Felt like I had a take just down there. Fairly close in. getting the tiniest tiniest bit of weed now which is probably not affecting the lure. Let's cast along the shoreline just a little bit. I was flying back, but it was probably just the weed. Come on, fishies. Sure I'm getting bites down there. Little takes off. Could be little schoolies. Even the rubber's pulled right down this time. Hmm. Interesting. You'd think a little schoolie would be able to take this quite easily, to be fair. 
I'm gonna have to have a couple more goes at them. They feel like bites. And obviously, I don't want to put a blank video out if I can't help it. I can get a fish on instead of a blank video, it'd be much better. I know everyone always tells me put the videos out, whatever, whether I catch or not, because they like to have a look around and see what I'm doing and see where I'm going and stuff, but I like to put a fish in them if I can. Come on, Mr. Bass, I'll be happy with a tiny little schoolie, just to hook up and bring one in. Fish. What? I could have sworn that was a fish. Still could be. A uh, load of weed. I think I'm hooking the weed and then that's like getting pulled across with the waves. It's feeling like fish. But that actually felt like a fish playing. That was weird. Well, I'll give it a good go, didn't I? I think it's time for me to do the walk back to the car, which is only, what, 10 minutes. And sign this one off. Sorry to not bring any fish to the beach, but we can't always. Lovely sunset in the background to see you there. This is where I've been trying all the way along these rocks, out past that red post there along this bay, the other side of these rocks, Ooh, it's so sinky, <laughs> so I'm going to head back up to the slipway, back down to the car, and that's going to be the end of this trip, so thanks for watching, appreciate your time, and like I say if you're interested, if you want to see some more of these sort of trips, let me know and I'll get back out there with the lures again. And hopefully we'll hook into a couple this time. So everyone, we had a good old go, didn't we? But weren't to be this time. Whew. A bit knackered from wandering up and down or in the water and casting hundreds of times, but it just wasn't happening today. So thanks for coming in. I'll see you all soon in another video. Bye for now.